Manchester United 3, Derby 0. We've won the game comfortably in the end. And it's a relief just to get through a comfortable victory, no problems with that game. And, and Derby are, are not a great side, no disrespect to them, but they're 13th in the championship. So you expect Manchester United to win the game. And it's nice to see that we are putting these sort of sides away, away now, because sometimes we have struggled against these sort of sides. I mean, we put Bruges away fairly comfortably at home. And so I'm pleased. I mean, we beat Tram here in the, in the previous round fairly comfortable. 6-0 and that's what you expect from Manchester United in, this, in these games sometimes in the past we haven't always put these teams to bed easy enough we've, we've sort of limbered over the line but we've got the job we've got the job done and really really pleased with that for Manchester United getting the job job underway with Luke Shaw a deflected effort off Jesse Lingard which looped in wouldn't have probably gone in in any way but I've got to give credit where it's due Luke Shaw is playing better than he was of Definitely slagged him off enough times in videos in the past, but definitely improving. I mean, I was a bit surprised that he started over Brandon Williams, considering it wasn't a full rotated side, but it was a, a number of rotate, rotated players. And this is by no means a first eleven for Manchester United. So it is, it is good to see that Manchester United put put three past this team, and we pretty much started with almost a second string lineup, besides maybe three players, probably three. Three play yeah, four players, yeah, four players would probably, you could say, maybe a guaranteed starter for Manchester United, if you were to name a Manchester United best eleven, maybe Lindelof at the back, and obviously Luke Shaw, you would probably say, and then you you scratch your heads at the, at the likes of Fred, and, and maybe McTominay and and some of them of whether they're going to be first in the first eleven, which one, which one of the two, but besides that, you've got a lot of the others. The likes of of Agarlo and, and Matter and Lingard who who aren't starting games uh, and have been in the have been in the starting lineup for the for this game and Manchester United have been able to win comfortably. I mean Agarlo getting two goals this evening, so that that is good to see. I mean no Maguire tonight, no Juan Bissaka tonight, so players were getting a night off. I mean no Greenwood at all tonight. So hopefully he will be back in the starting lineup for the game against Man City at the weekend, but we don't know. What, I don't know what the situation is there. Maybe Solskjaer thought that he wouldn't bring him off the bench because Dan James is out as well. and he, He's been starting a lot of games this season, which I think probably should be coming out the firing line a bit now, giving Greenwood a bit more game time because because of his lack of form and Greenwood's upturn in form, that, or his, his form this season. But overall, really pleased to get the job done. And we move on to Norwich in the next round. And obviously, we're probably... I mean. Obviously, I've got to mention in the start. Now, obviously, Bruno Fernandes starting as well in the first eleven. He would normally obviously start as well. But so probably about four players would normally start this game for Manchester United. If you were to name name a starting lineup, I mean, you think without our three top scorers, Greenwood, Marshall, and Rashford starting this game, without Pogba in there, and without obviously Maguire. I mean, that is five five players plus if you include there, that's six players. For first team places, you would say would definitely get in the, in the first team. Plus, then you've got one Basaka, so that would be that would be seven positions that you would be to be taking up then on the pitch from first team players. So that just shows that Manchester United are now getting players back fit and have added two key players in in this January transfer window. Obviously, I wasn't convinced with the Galo coming in, but he scored three goals now. And even if he's only here till the summer, at least he's at least he's helping the team get through this patch where we've been without Rashford, without Pogba, Greenwood's been in and out of the team. I mean, James is injured at the moment. There's there's been niggles and problems, and it's nice that he can then come into the team. I mean, we're not. I mean, although it is hindering the young talent at Manchester United, the likes of of Chong, and obviously um, Gomez and Garner getting any game time because some of these players. It is a bit annoying when you've got the likes of Pereira coming on off the bench when we could easily be bringing Gomez off the bench, who is definitely a much better footballer than than Pereira. And it's d disappointing that Gomez is going to leave in the summer with with knowing that he's a much better passer of the ball than than Pereira, and he could score more goals than Pereira for me, and probably would if he was given the opportunity. Which that is the only disappointment from these type of games. You would like to see them players because you look at the other teams like you look at Chelsea the other night, Billy Gilmore getting game time for. 
for Chelsea against against Liverpool, bossing the game. That could have been Gomez. I mean, who knows if if Gomez will ever make it in the in the game? Another club, a big club, but it could have been. I mean, if you don't get game time between the ages of eighteen and and twenty two, at the highest level, you, you're probably going to end up failing, and that that is going to that is that is disappointing for a, for a guy's career if you're not getting the game time. But overall, pleased, really pleased tonight. Hopefully now we can move on and beat City at the weekend and move forward for when we have that that game in the in the Europa League. And hopefully this time in the Europa League we can get the job done in the first leg and then rotate the side like we've done with heavy rotation really tonight. I think it was six changes from the game against Everton. And we've got players injured as well that would normally walk into this team. So hopefully if we could get that first leg done because games are going to come thick and fast now that we've got another, another game in the FA Cup. But I really want that to happen because... I think Manchester United have got a great chance of getting getting to the final of this competition. If I mean, who knows? We beat beat all most of the big sides this season that are left in this competition. I think we beat pretty much every side in this competition besides probably is it Arsenal and Sheffield United. I think that we I mean, would beat the likes of Leicester, Chelsea, Man City. So Norwich would beat all them sides this season. So we've got to be in confident mood. Manchester United are playing a bit better now than we were earlier in the season. Things have. Things have turned around a bit and what a difference it makes bringing fresh faces into Manchester United that have improved Manchester United because you look at look at bringing a Galo in and he's now scoring some goals. Okay, not the best player in the world and they're against lesser opposition in Bruges and, Bruges and Derby. But that is still better than when Manchester United were having Greenwood on the bench and you were starting prayer every week and Jesse Lingard, players that just never get goals. And... And Bruno Fernandes as well has added goals and assists as well, which the Lingards and, and the Pereiras just haven't been doing this season. And when you bring better players into the starting lineup, when we get better players back fit, the likes of Rashford and Pogba, Manchester United, whether, whether Solskjaer is in charge or Postia, it will improve. We will improve with better players in the starting lineup, and we're seeing that now, and hopefully that can continue between now and the end of the season. Let's go and beat them. Them City boys on on Sunday and move into that fifth, into that fourth position because that's where we really need to get to. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.